Hello, darling. It's me again, yours truly, Elvira. That gal with the enormous, uh, ratings. Hi, I'm Tommy, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho ha ha ha. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tommy Likes It, the talk show where I talk about toys that interest me and toys that I hope interest you. I am your host, Tommy Purr, and today on the channel, I'd like to announce that we're doing something a little bit different and a little bit special for all you perverts out there who've been so loyal to me. Now, when you watch Tommy Likes It, keep your eyes peeled for a special discount code that you can then use at RogueToys.com to get 10% off your entire purchase. That's right. 10% off of your entire purchase, and also you can mix that with free delivery. Orders over $50 get free shipping domestically in the United States. That's awesome for you toy collectors. That's awesome for anyone just looking to buy something for that special toy collector in their life. Now, with that being said, there is a caveat. Only five people get to use this code. The first five people to find the code in this video. And don't worry, it's not hidden. You will see it. It's very obvious, but it'll be at a different time in each Tommy Likes It review. The first five to use the code get the 10% off. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. This way you get updates when I upload a new video because each new review will have a new discount code. And you can use that for your 10% off. I cannot stress this enough. Now, for those of you who don't know, Rogue Toys has three stores in Las Vegas, one store in Portland, Oregon, and another in Salt Lake City, Utah. So make sure you check out that website. Even if you don't get the 10% off, there's still plenty of stuff to buy, you guys. Speaking of stuff to buy, we're not here to just talk about discount codes. We're here to talk about the new Elvira Scary Xmas figure. Look at this. Shout out to my friend Ethan with Second Time Around Toys and Comics. He found this for me while he was looking for Ninja Turtle stuff, and I greatly appreciate it. This is an awesome figure. I've already opened her up to take photos. We're about to go over everything together, but let's look at the package first. You've got this package with a nice sleeve on it. It makes it look like the whole playset is um, gift wrapped. It's really nice, reflective. It's got a little tag here. It says, don't open till Xmas cruelly yours or sorry yours cruelly elvira and then on the back you see a little photo of her with her little her little cookie goblin person or whatever i have never seen scary xmas with elvira i don't know if it's a movie or a short or what have you i just like the figure we're just going based off of that don't crucify me but if it's a real thing tell me in the comments this way i can go watch it maybe i'll review it for tommy watches it anyways you slip off the cover and here we go. There's the box right there. It shows Elvira's face. And on the back, it has the standard photos of what you can do with the accessories. Now, the figure retails for 60 bucks, basically. At Target, it was like $65 after tax. If you are an inbox collector, you can see all of the cool accessories and the figures and everything. So if you don't take her out of the package, you can still enjoy her somewhat again you mint on box people i can't understand you for the life of me but in any event let's get right down to it let's set up the figure let's take a look at the accessories the details and the articulation shall we <laughs> So right out the gate, we got a bunch of accessories. We have a really cool stand that has Elvira's name written on it in red. It's almost as if NECA learned their lesson because they didn't give us a stand for Elvira last time and she was really hard to keep standing on, on people's shelves. It plugs right into the foot really easily and I haven't had any issues with her standing. However, if you do have a figure with weak ankle joints, this is going to become kind of a nightmare. Um, and that is a problem with the retro eight inch line from NECA. Sometimes these figures have really awkward ankle joints and they tip right over, even if their foot is flat. It happens to me all the time with my Jason Voorhees and my Freddy Krueger. In any event, we get a stand. We also get an alternate head, of course, because what Elvira figure would not be complete with more head? How's your head? I haven't had any complaints yet. Excuse me? It's got her signature winky face, which is not different from the Red Fright and Boo figure or the standard black gown Elvira figure. So if you choose not to get this figure, you're not missing out on alternate expressions. We also get a baking spoon and a baking bowl for when she makes her ginger dead men. This is really good if you want to use them for photos and dioramas of other figures. 
And we got a list. We got Elvira's Naughty List. And you've got all kinds of names on here. You've got Artie. You've got Ash. You've got Christian. You've got Heidi. You've got Marty. You've got Michelle. Renee. Scott. All kinds of names. Although, I don't know who the hell Tonta Allen is, but that is a very interesting name. That's why I'm thinking this must be from a movie. Because Tonta Allen? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know if that's like a Easter egg or a joke or what, but it's going right over my head. Just be very careful with this Christmas list because it is very flimsy, it is very thin, and it's basically glorified cardboard, so you can pretty much tear it really easily, so be careful. And of course, you can't write on the naughty list without your feather pen or your quill, which is exactly what Elvira comes with. And the details on this are amazing. It's not just a piece of plastic with like paint on it this has like the actual molded lines of each part of the feather it's insane we also get a new kind of accessory that i haven't seen before with any neca figures before this is a bloody mary and it has a straw and it has a celery and that's a lot of fun because i'm sure a lot of figures could use this in photos we also get a tray of ginger dead men and they all look different and they're not loose they're all molded into the tray so that's cool i kind of wish we had gotten some loose ginger dead men i mean for the price point they should have just thrown that in there but overall this is fun too this makes for a really delightful diorama set or diorama piece or can be used for any kinds of comedic photos that you want to create with your toys and of course elvira can't make those cookies alone she has to have a little helper and here is uh it's basically an oversized accessory it's a second action figure it is the little goblin demon creature thing i guess and you get articulation in the elbows and in the shoulders you get uh, a wrist swivel you do get an extra hand for said goblin which is nice and then he can he can sit out if he needs to, but there's no joints in the knees. And the tail does turn 360 degrees. It is not a bendy tail. It is not articulated otherwise, so don't try to bend it because you'll snap it right out of the butthole. Uh, he does have a soft goods apron, which is cool, and you can untie it and take it off if you desire. And what's really neat is he has an articulated jaw, so uh, you can just get something flat to help move move it because it is kind of difficult to get the jaw open but it is articulated and the head is on a swivel so it can rotate around look up look down look all the way around and i just love the detail of the eyes i love how one is bigger than the other it's really expressive which i love and then we get to the grand dame herself we get to elvira and she looks amazing you guys same articulation as the previous elvira figures you know no double joints in the knees or in the elbows, but it's fine because you can still pose her perfectly well. She can sit, she can um, she can move her legs from side to side, so you have the swivel there at the at the pelvis. Uh, does she have waist? Art she does have a, a slight waist articulation. Just be careful. Oh, it's not slight. You do have a waist articulation, so that's good. Um, let's see here. Be very careful when you're bending the arms because you can't really see if the joint is going this way or backward. So just make sure you you turn the bicep joint and that you feel where the elbow joint is before you start trying to move her because you don't want to snap it the other way and break it. When I opened mine, the head was really stiff and so were the, uh, the wrists. So I had to dunk them in hot water to loosen them up. But now they work perfectly fine. So be mindful, it is NECA. Don't break your figures, guys. Low heat air dryer or a bowl of hot water. I just threw it in the microwave for three minutes. It was nice and hot. 30 seconds in there, popped everything right out. Um, of course, her tiggle bitties are out in full force. It's her signature. She, she looks amazing. The outfit is really well done. I love it. It's just a nice, a nice fabric feel. Uh, the fur feels really nice as well. And the belt is a nice uh, plastic piece or rubbery piece. So it holds everything in together nicely and cinches her waist. But if they ever ask about me, tell them I was more than just a great set of boobs. I was also an incredible pair of legs. My only gripe really is that like, she wasn't just a great pair of boobs or a great pair of legs. Elvira had a nice butt too. Well, she still does. Cassandra Peterson does not age. She is amazing. Uh, and I say that as a gay man, like, I mean, I would try it, hello. But 
Like, come on, guys. It's a little flat. I mean, NECA, do, do Elvira some justice there. We give her a nice, another nice tush. You know what I'm saying? It's still a great figure regardless. But I was like, dang, like, we could have given her a little bit more in the back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in any event, her expression here is amazing as well. The face is just beautifully painted, as usual, and the hair has a lot of nice details as well. If you couldn't tell already, this figure definitely is a perfect 10 out of 10. I do recommend that you pick up yours today. You will not be disappointed if you're into female figures, if you're into horror, if you're into, into Christmas and Elvira, or just things that look awesome on the shelf. This figure is for you. With that being said, I hope you guys found the discount code. I hope you'll use it on roguetoys.com. Even though we didn't order these for the store, I'm hoping that maybe people will sell them to Rogue and then you'll be able to buy them on the website. So keep an eye because a loose one may come in or maybe a new one that someone brings in for trade. You never know. Rogue Toys always gets a bunch of cool stuff. Well, that's where I see things just a little differently. Contractor, no. I will not bow to any sponsor. So keep an eye out for that. Keep your discount codes handy. Use them right away before someone else does because I assure you someone else will. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me some love in the comments and let's talk toys. Happy holidays to you and yours, and I'll see you next week. Merry Christmas, Elvira. Ah! <laughs>